Dining Philosopher's Problem Hi, I'm Aina. Today, I will explain about Dining Philosopher Problem. Dining Philosopher Problem is an illustrative example of a common computing problem in concurrency. The Dining Philosopher's Problem describes a group of philosophers sitting at a table doing one of two things. Eating or thinking. While eating, they are not thinking, and while thinking, they are not eating. Consider there are five philosophers sitting around a circular dining table. The dining table has five chopsticks and a bowl of rice in the middle, as shown in this figure. When a philosopher wants to eat, he uses two chopsticks, one from their left and one from their right. When a philosopher wants to think, he keeps down both chopsticks at their original place. As rice is difficult to serve and eat with a single chopstick, it is assumed that a philosopher must eat with two chopsticks. The philosopher can only use the chopstick on his immediate left or right. The philosophers never speak to each other, which creates a dangerous possibility of deadlock. Deadlock could occur if every philosopher holds a left chopstick and waits always for a right chopstick. In this case, philosopher P1 waits for the chopstick grabbed by philosopher P2 who is waiting for the chopstick of philosopher P3 and so forth, making a circular chain. The lack of available chopstick is an analogy to the locking of shared resources in real computer programming. So, what is the solution? In this case, this problem can solve using semaphore. Solution for the situation of deadlock, each philosopher will pick up the chopstick on the left and wait for the other to release, and hence, all the philosophers have one chopstick. But what if all five philosophers are hungry simultaneously and each of them pick up one chopstick, then a deadlock situation occur because they will waiting for another chopstick forever. Here, the other possible solution. A philosopher must be allowed to pick up the chopsticks only if both of left and right chopsticks are available. Second, allow only four philosophers to sit at the table. That way, if all the four philosophers pick up four chopsticks, there will be one chopstick left on the table. So, one philosopher can start eating and eventually, two chopsticks will be available. In this way, that lock can be avoided. Thank you for watching. Bye!